Hey guys, I decided I was going to make a short video because um, I was thinking a lot today about um, posting about coaching opportunities and how it is kind of this big wall for people to climb over. It's really hard to get past the fear of what other people think of you. And I know that we think we're going to be annoying and people are not going to want to hear this and what if no one comments? What if no one likes? And so we kind of talk ourselves out of posting about the opportunity to coach. And I really got to thinking, there are so many people who have no idea what a coach even is. Even if you've announced that you're a beach body coach, people are probably like, that's great. Next. Like they have no idea what that even means. And so we need to be sharing enough that people are like, okay, what is she talking about exactly? And, you know, I'm really going to watch her because what does that mean? And so if you're posting like once a year about being a coach, people are not going to think that you're taking this seriously, especially if you're doing this business as a business and you want it to grow. You have to be posting about it often. And, you know, this is something that I've decided I'm going to start posting more often about because the business has changed my life. Um... And so I'm trying to really make a concerted effort to post about the little things, the little things that I'm doing throughout my day that are because of coaching. So um, don't overanalyze, don't think too deeply because people are watching, whether they're liking, whether they're commenting, they are watching you. And you never know who needs this opportunity. Just a second, baby. And I know from personal experience because I was one of them. I never would have contacted Micah had she never posted about the coaching opportunity. I would have thought she was just like someone who does challenge groups had I not seen the lifestyle that coaching can provide or the freedom that coaching can provide. Um, I was to the point where I was about to go find like a waitressing job. I would have missed out on all the family time had I done that. So had Micah not ever posted about the coaching opportunity, I never would be here. And I can tell you how much it has changed my life. Like. Completely. We're in a house that we never would have been in. We bought it. We never would have been able to even buy a house. We couldn't have qualified for it because our credit was so bad. We had so much debt. Like our life has transformed because of coaching. And it really got me thinking about what if Micah had never posted for me? Where would I be? Like I wouldn't be here. And this like seriously, of course I get emotional because um, it's changed my life. So what if there's that person out there, just one person, who is waiting for an answer to prayers and you're the answer, yet you're stopping yourself from posting? What if you are their answer and you're stopping yourself? Like seriously think about that. Like I don't care if it's crickets, I don't care if you have the naysayers because there will be people, honestly, the people who are naysayers are the ones who need personal development themselves. They're the ones who have insecurities and they're struggling themselves. They're projecting it onto you. So who cares about the naysayers because you're not here for the naysayers. You're here for the people who want to change their life. And coaching is an avenue that can change people's lives. And if you're the answer to one person's prayer, that is good enough reason to post it. So post about the coaching opportunity and post often. You don't need to be annoying and say the same thing over and over again using your shaker cup. Here I am with my Shakeology and it's paid for because I'm a coach or like just the same stuff over and over again. Really, really pay attention to your life and how it is different because of coaching and share it. Share it. Like just share it. Just be real, just be genuine and just remember what this opportunity has done because someone out there maybe looking for an answer and you may be their answer and how sad would it be if you stopped yourself from being the answer to their prayers like that's a big thing to think about and I don't care if you're not religious um but just think about that think about like if someone is looking for something you have the answer yet you're holding it back from them because you're afraid of judgment from people who don't matter you're not here for the naysayers you are here to change people's lives who are looking for that change. And I promise you, it pays off. It always pays off to share the opportunity with people because it is life-changing. I don't know how else to say it. Just don't stop yourself because of fear, because you're not doing this for the naysayers. <laughs> I keep saying that. 
just do it for you. Do it for that one person that could be looking for the answer and you have that answer. So get on that. That's my challenge is for you to really step out of your comfort zone and post about coaching so people kind of get what coaching is. They have no idea. They might think that all you do is sell stuff. They might not realize that there's challenge groups, that there's you know a community behind being a coach of a bunch of other awesome coaches or that you work on developing yourself better or that you even get paid for this. A lot of people have no idea that you actually get paid. And especially when you start making a full-time income, people like just don't get it. So you need to share, like your groceries were paid for, your car was paid for, you know, you were having a horrible sucky day and the challenge groups helped motivate you to get back on track or the coaching opportunity the personal development seminar that you were able to go to because of it has changed your life. You are bettering yourself. Like you've got to share your journey and not just tidbits here and there. You've got to constantly talk about it so people can see how this can change their life because they're watching it change yours. So that's my challenge. Go share the opportunity somehow. Like Micah just posted a video challenging you to post about the webinar that we just recorded. Go do it. It's like they choose to watch it. You can't force it down their throat because they click the button to go watch it. So no harm, no foul in posting the link, inviting people to watch to see if it's something that they may be interested in. So that's my challenge. And I hope you guys can comment below. Let me know how your challenge goes. And we will talk to you later. Bye.